Anthropic recently launched Cloud Code Web, a new way to delegate coding tasks directly from your browser. No terminal, no local setup. Just open a tab, connect your GitHub repo and let Cloud handle the rest for you. And honestly, this will actually change the way we code. Hey there everyone, I am Arindam and in this video, I am going to test Cloud Code Web build some projects and show what it is really like to code entirely in cloud. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, do it now and without delaying any further, let's get started. First, let's understand what Cloud Code Web is. Cloud Code Web is Anthropic's cloud-based coding agent. You can think of it as your AI engineer that runs completely online. You can open it from your browser or even your phone, connect to a GitHub repo and start assigning the coding tasks right away. And here is how it works. Cloud first clones the repo into a secure sandbox, understands the code base and lets you run multiple tasks in parallel. So, tasks like bug fixes, refactors, and adding new features all happens in the cloud. When it is done, it creates branches, commits changes, and even opens pull requests automatically. It is like managing a team of AI developers except everything happens inside one tab. Now, let's see this in action. So, I will open my cloud code web. You can go to cloud.ai slash code and you will get interface like this and they have given $250 credit to try this out and this is only for 10 days. So if you are a pro user or a max user, you will get credits from Anthropic just to try this out. So I am a pro user here and I got $250 credit. So if you have a pro subscription, you get $250 to try this out. So the interface looks like this and I must mention I really like this one. Now as you can see, I have already connected my GitHub here. So you can see this is my repo. So first I will give it a very simple task. So recently Navius AI Studio has been renamed as Navius Token Factory and they have changed their endpoints. So most of my projects here in the awesome AI apps uses Navius AI Studio model. So for obvious reason I need to change the endpoints here. So the first task I will give it to change the endpoints to the updated ones. So let's just write the prompt here. Okay, so I've just mentioned it replace an AVS AI studio named to Navius token factory. You can see the latest endpoint, the docs and the console. And I have also mentioned the repo here and I'm just using the default environment here. If you want, you can change the environment as well. And for this task, I am using Sonnet 4.5. So let's start. Okay, so first we need to install the GitHub app. Let's do that. Okay, so I have installed the GitHub app and I will do done. Now let's run it again. So you can also enable the notification, but I don't need that right now. So I will choose not now. As you can see, it is first cloning the repository and it is starting cloud code. One point to mention in my repo, I already have cloud.md file. So in the next project, I will not have that and I will see how that works if the project does not have a cloud.md file. So you can see that it has started working. Just like Cloud Code, it has also creating to do's, which is really good. First, it is searching the Navy CI Studio references. Great. You can see that it has already done two to do's and it has started doing the changes. And it is also doing the readme changes here, which is very important because all the places it is mentioned as Navy CI Studio. So first it has started working with the cloud.md file and now it will change the later file as it explores more. So I really like this approach. You can just open your browser, you have a task, you are traveling, you don't have access to your phone. You can just open your browser, give this a prompt and cloud will do the work for you. And it is doing it again and again because the project has around 50 plus agents. So I assume it will take some time to actually find all of the instances of Navy CI Studio and then change them to the token factory name. And once this part will be done, you can also create a fear from this part here as well. But currently it has not created any branch. So we will not do that right now. So once it finishes, we will create a PR from CloudPort. You can see that I have already exhausted $1. Let's burn more tokens for these examples and see how well it does. So you can see here it has already done three to do's and now it will just update all the base URLs here to the new base URL of Navy CI Studio. Okay. 
so you can see it has made the changes from the api urls from ai studio to token factory okay so you can see that we also got an error here input validation error so notebook edit failed due to following issue so we got an unexpected cell number overall the experience is really good it only got some errors in between but overall it is doing all the changes as requested and it is quite fast as well and the cool features of cloud code is you can run multiple tasks parallelly across multiple repos so for example i am working on this project here i can parallelly create another cloud code session and work on another repository so it will make my life much easier if you're working with multiple projects and want to maintain them so this is one another feature that i really like about cloud code web also every cloud code tasks run in a separate sandbox environment which has file system and network restrictions also in the docs they mention that the git interactions are handled through secure proxy service that actually ensures that cloud can only access authorized repositories that helps to keep your code and credential protected throughout the entire workflow okay one flaw that i found is it got stuck in between i'm not sure what is the reason it it has stuck here for almost 2 minutes and it is not changing anything so i will just interrupt it and see what it has done okay so i'm trying to interrupt this session and it is still not working and loading for a while so i'm not sure what is the issue with this so this is one issue that i found and i think it should be fixed so it has already took 2 dollars credit from the free credit that i got and it is still not stopping which is concerning so it got stuck here and this is not a good experience because it is already burning my credits here and not working anything so i will just restart this and now we can see that it has done the work and stopped it but i just need to refresh it the experience is overall not that good the final part it started really well it started doing the to dos but now i feel in the last part it got stuck somewhere so this could be a potential bug the entropic team can solve so now i will create a pr from here okay so you can see it has already added what the changes it has done and this is the pr template that i have so i will just create a pull request so you can just review that what are the changes it has made and overall this looks good so i will just create a pr great so the first test is done and it almost did it really well now let's move on to the next task let's go back to the cloud wave console and for this one we will create a separate new repo uh, okay so now i will find the new repo here okay as you can see here this is the demo so in this task we will ask it to create an ai investment team using agno and openai so let's write the prompt here so you can see here i am asking it to create an ai investment agent team using agno so the agent will have the researcher the analyst the advisor and the reporter and i have also added the reference docs here which is important for it to get the relevant context and now i will just hit enter and it will start working again not now so you can see that it has started working and we have created our new session here this is a fairly simple example and i feel it should be able to do this and you can see it has created the to do here okay so it has failed to get the docs here which is interesting and now it is doing web search let's see what it actually does here okay again it failed to get access to that docs url okay finally it got access to the github repo but it still did not get access to the docs which is bit weird i would say because i given if the lm.txt it should have been able to access that but no worries let's see how it works the next part okay again it is doing web search 
to find some multi agent examples from the docs and it has got this this time but it is again failing it so i'm not sure why it is not able to get access to the docs of that but okay it has started working so let's see what it does let's create the git ignore the environment examples now it is going to create the y finance tool and each of the four agents okay so it is actually using the main library not the y finance tool from agno which it should do but since it could not access the docs here it is just creating it itself so let's see what it actually creates overall it is doing good but i'm not sure why it is not able to get the access to the docs that's why it has done some extra steps which could be easily avoided if it got the access to the docs because agno already provides you a lot of tools by default so you don't need to write them manually but that's fine let's see what it has done and how well it works and now we should be able to create a pr and test this out locally so what i will do is once it creates the whole project i will just create the pr and then merge it and then finally i will clone it locally to test this out how it works okay so it got some errors here we can see okay so it says it is unable to access this and it got 502 which is strange but let's see so again in this case we see it has made some issues in the end i'm not sure why it is doing this mistakes in the because it was doing again really well in the beginning it was doing all the things well just it missed the web search part and this thing but okay so it has done the work but i don't see option to create a pr because there is no remote branch so i'm not sure what is the issue again here okay so you can see that it has given a link so this link will open a create pr tab but before we saw that we cannot actually use the create pr button but after some time i saw that i can now create a pr from this button itself so this might be a small glitch or again some issues from the web console so now i will just use this you can see that it has done the work now we'll just create a pr and merge it awesome so now i will just pull this locally okay so now let's run this i have cloned the repo already now i will run uv run and let's see what it does okay so finally we got an error here so the main reason could be it didn't get access to the main docs so now just take this go to our cloud code web console here we can just mention reply that i got this error also use open ai chat inst instead of plot so let's see what it actually fixes and this time it should use the correct docs since i have given all the mcp link as well as the team link as well so let's see how this works so it failed to fetch the web which is i'm not sure again what is the error here okay so it is having issues with the web page i see multiple times it is failing i'm not sure what is the issue here so this time it is switching to open ai chat and changing the models here we can see so let's see if that fixes the issue but one feedback from my side is they should really work on improving the web page because if it could not fetch the docs link then it becomes really hard to get more accurate results as you can see here it has made the y finance one from scratch which it could easily do by just you accessing the agno docs so it has essentially made the work harder for itself so we will create a pr once it finishes the work so i'm just waiting for it to finish okay so it has finished the work so i will just view the pr okay so i didn't get an option to create a new pr it's just showing the view pr option here so i feel again there is a latency issue or some bug 
in this place so i feel i again have to check this branch okay so you can see that it has made the commit but it has not given me the option to create a pr so i will just open a pull request manually here and create a pr and merge it so we found another issue here you can see if we add a follow-up prompt it does not create the option to create another pr it just shows the way to check the previous pr so now let's pull this locally okay so now again run this locally i have already pulled it now i will just run the same command again okay so this time it has started working as you can see it has doing uh, the current market outlook and recommendation for apple microsoft and nvidia so it is now thinking okay so you can see it has delegated the task to the market researcher now it is doing the task and you can see the response here so we can see that this time after one fix it has made the agent work well and hopefully it should work well till the end because we have seen that most of the times in the last it has started creating some issues so it has worked this time and we can see the investment report that it has started generating so you can see the market overview the stock analysis nvidia's and the new summary here and this is the final summary the recommendations you can see what to do what actions to do what to hold and this is really helpful and overall investment report we can see here it has also given a disclaimer which is pretty amazing so that's it we can see finally a one fix it has created a agent and the best part is you can do everything from your phone as well and this is really help if you are ideating some new projects quickly want to try this out you can just go to the web spin it up and start working though it has some bugs internally but i think it is still a really good option to try it out if you are brainstorming and with the free credits you can try a lot of new stuff and that's it we have seen how easily cloud code can fix your projects create an agent with just few prompts and the agent works really well overall cloud code feels more than just another ai coding tool i am honestly impressed by how smooth and fast it is and the fact that we can do everything from our browser makes it more useful but since it is in preview it has some bugs and i will keep testing it more for bigger project to see how well it works with big projects if you like this breakdown hit like drop a comment and let me know what tool you want me to test next and don't forget to subscribe i will do more videos like this so that's it for today i will see you in the next video bye